Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to work a little more on the word extraordinary. Remember yesterday when we read our story, we came across that word. And when we're done, you're going to be able to say a sentence with the word extraordinary. Okay? Everybody say extraordinary. Extraordinary. Again? Okay, let's get ready to clap extraordinary and let's see how many syllables. Ready? Do it with me. Extraordinary. Whoa, do that again. Extraordinary. Five, Five beats. Five syllables. I think that's, is that the most we've had? I think so. That's one long word. Look at this word. It's going to be extremely wonderful or different. Try to say that with me now, the definition. Extremely wonderful or different. Now, we came across this word yesterday. Remember, we talked about the houses. And those houses were extraordinary. Let's work a little bit more, though, with what it means, OK? Again, say extraordinary. And when something is extraordinary, it is extremely wonderful or perfect. Okay, let's look a little more at our story from yesterday. Remember this shoe house? This house is extremely wonderful or different or or what? Look, what is it shaped like? Shoes. And remember, this guy loved shoes, the person who had this house. He had 40 shoe stores. Even his mailbox was shaped like a shoe. That is extremely wonderful or different or? Extraordinary. Is that like your house? No. Not like mine either. No way. And then this building, this person just thought they were going to have some fun. They decided to make, remember, a gas station. And they made the gas station look like a teapot. Okay, is that extremely wonderful or different? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's extremely wonderful or different or? Extraordinary. You bet it is. You're not kidding. Okay, so we talked about the houses and the buildings and how they were extremely wonderful or different or I want to show you excuse me a sec. Tell you bye. I want to show you some other extremely wonderful or extraordinary things. Okay, so eyes up here. Take a look at this. See those buildings? Look at those. Wow, look at this thing. That huge. is huge. And look how beautiful it is. And look how shiny. Is, it is that like a regular building? No. no, you're right. It is enormous. That was another word we've had, right? Okay, mm -hmm. this building is extremely wonderful or different or? And then look at this one. It's not the same as this one, but look at this. It almost looks like it's a... A castle or a, maybe a birthday cake or look at those giant things up. Isn't that extremely wonderful? Yeah. Isn't that extraordinary? Good. I want to hear everybody say in the word. That way we get lots of practice with it. Now take a look at these kids. Do you see them there? Yeah. Guess what? That's a tire swing. But guess where the tire swing is? It's where? Inside. It's inside their house. Could you imagine having a tire swing inside your house? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be extremely wonderful or different or? Extraordinary. Man, you could just go swinging. Act like you got that tire swing in your house. Okay? And feel yourself swinging around. Got to be careful. Don't hit the TV. Okay, that would be really what? 
Now this last one I really want to talk about because especially since we've been talking about different jobs you can do. Okay? Everybody see that man? Yes. He's a scientist. And we've talked about how scientists can do some pretty amazing things. Who knows? Maybe this scientist is going to maybe cure some disease. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be wild? Wouldn't that be extremely wonderful or... And guess what? That could be you when you get to be big. Okay, so now that we've seen and looked at extraordinary in some different ways, I want to talk to you about what we're going to work on today. Okay? I want you to think of something that's extraordinary. Something that is extremely wonderful or different. So, think of something but before you do, I want to show you a few examples. Okay, eyes up here. So as I'm going, you can maybe be thinking of what you think would be extremely wonderful or different or extraordinary. Our sentence is going to be, well, let's read it together. It would be extraordinary if, hmm, because, hmm. Let's fix that B a little bit, okay? One more time. It would be extraordinary if, hmm, because, hmm. Well, here's one example. It would be extraordinary if, I need all eyes up on the board. Okay, let me do that again. It would be extraordinary if a flying saucer came into our playground and it would be extraordinary because it could pick us up and we could go up into outer space and see all the houses or planets too. We could see the houses and the planets. I want you to think about you guys are great students, right? And you work really hard. Okay? Another example. It would be extraordinary if you got 100% on your spelling test. Because, you know those words, they're really hard. They're not easy. That would be extraordinary. And here's another example. It would be extraordinary if a kindergarten student wrote their numbers to a thousand. Because that is a lot of numbers. And your hand would really probably get tired. So let's say the sentence one more time. It would be extraordinary if hmm because hmm. Okay, so here's what I want you to do now. Think of something that's extraordinary. So everybody, some think time. You come up with your own example, or if you can't come up with one, you can use one of mine. But try to come up with your own. Something that would really be extremely wonderful or different. Extraordinary. It would be extraordinary if, hmm, because, hmm. Okay, now get your microphones. Let's practice it. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's do it together. It would be extraordinary if Mr. Rosenfield came in here in a tuxedo and then did a big dance in front of all the kids because you've never seen me in a tuxedo. You need to get your microphone up and be practicing. Pra practice it. Because remember, practice is what gets you ready for when you're with your partner. It would be extraordinary if Miss Solis came in here in a tutu because wouldn't that be wild to see her looking that way? Okay, put your microphones down. Good job. Okay, now turn to your partner. Get eye to eye, knee to knee. 
Get yourselves ready. Eye to eye, knee to knee. Good, good. Okay, pick an A, pick a B. Okay, this day, B's go first. Okay, Wait, just remember, if you get done, what do you do? Keep going. You can do other examples, or you can do the same one over again. Okay, so everybody go. It would be extraordinary if, with your partners. Wow, would that be cool and have your own job? Wow. It will be extraordinary if my mom would like six pieces for snack. Because? Be wild. It will be extraordinary if I went to Disneyland because I would have to see Mickey Mouse. Wouldn't that be cool to see Mickey Mouse? Victor, hey, put your hands down so we can hear it. Look at your partner. It would be extraordinary if there were five dinosaurs and I touched them. They, they, they went a half mile away from me. Okay, let's hear a few. Um, you don't need to put your hands, you know guys, I just call on you. Eyes on Edwin. It would be extraordinary if the astronaut came to class because we can see a rocket ship. Could you imagine a real astronaut? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> okay guys, you know what? I am going to beat you today. <laughs> I'm going to give you some situations today. And here's the deal, okay? You're going to either say extraordinary or not extraordinary. So think to yourself, hmm, is this extremely wonderful? Okay, so here we go. Um, me. You. Okay. You. And I'll put a... Now let's do a girl here. And then me. I'll put my glasses. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. So extraordinary, not extraordinary. Good. Eyes ready to go. Okay, I want you to imagine we have chips for snack. My gosh, we had chips two days ago. We had chips four days ago. Okay? And we're going to have chips again today. The same snack over and over. Yeah. Is that extraordinary or not extraordinary? Not extraordinary. One point for you guys. <laughs> okay. You know, we, this is true. You know what's coming up? We have our kindergarten, first grade, swim day. Yeah. Now, you know, we, have we been swimming together this year? No. Not this year, no. No. So, we're going to go to the Allen Whip, we're going to play on the play things and all that. Would that be extremely wonderful or different? Is that extraordinary or not extraordinary? extraordinary. You bet it is. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. This is, this is a real different one. Imagine Santa Claus comes to your house, knocks on your door, and says, you, come with me. And he says, here, sit on my sleigh. Let's go for a ride. Would that be extraordinary or not extraordinary? Extraordinary! Good gosh, I never win this game. Okay, it's a school day. And guess what? You wear the same thing that, well, kind of like me. I do wear the same thing a lot of days, don't I? Yeah. The same kind of shirt, the same kind of pants. Is that same kind of shoes? You got it. Everybody knows my shoes. Is that extreme? Is that extremely wonderful? Is that extraordinary or not extraordinary? Not extraordinary. 
I am going to surprise you one day. One day I'll dress and it will be extraordinary. But you're right. That was not extraordinary. Okay, eyes up here. Get your body together. Good. Thank you. Okay, here's what I want you to do. When you go home tonight, I already told your parents. I already told your parents when you were lining up coming in. I want you to go home and I want you to think of something that's extremely wonderful or different. And you use the word what word are you going to use? Extraordinary. In a sentence. You might go up to mom and say, Mom, you don't just look amazing today. You look... Extraordinary. Or, wow, what a meal. This meal is... Extraordinary. So think of a time when you go home today and when you're home. Use that word. And you know what they're going to say? You're extraordinary. Give yourselves a hand. Good job. <laughs>